Welcome, welcome, welcome once again, and we're gonna go over the pop the balloon or find love program with our let. So, 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 we have a couple of guys here. We have some ladies who are going to be coming in. And the guys are going to decide if they are willing to take it or willing to not take it. But let's see how this one goes. Go ahead and bring out our next single lady. Hello, welcome in. What's your name? My name is Johiko Rodriguez. Jo I must say, whenever I see ladies come onto a dating show dressed like this, I think they're here for jokes, to be honest. I don't think, and you know the funny thing about it, I can guarantee that a lady like this is going to be looking for a particular type of guy, and she has come to a dating show trying to impress a bunch of men who would be expect who we would be expecting to be seeking for wives or long term partners. Her dress code does not say to me long term partner or wife. Johiko? Yes. Okay, and how old are you? I am 39 years old. And what do you do? I am a dedicated and passionate social worker, and I also have several businesses. I also um, own an event planning and hosting business, nice. and I also do an intimate fitness courses. Okay. <laughs> you are busy. I hope someone asks her, what is an intimate fitness course? I hope someone asks that question. What is an intimate fitness course? Yes. <laughs> now, what are some things I could do for fun? Um, well, I try to travel at least once or twice a month, if not every other month. I just came from Aruba last weekend. I'm Ooh. here this weekend. Who knows where I'm going to be next weekend? Okay. Um, I'm a social. I, I'm a social butterfly, so I like to be in social settings. So anything that involves karaoke, happy hour, day parties, okay. things of that nature. We work hard, so you know we got to play, play hard. hard. Uh huh. <laughs> now, what are some things you look for in a man? Um, first it's compatibility. Mm -hmm. Um, exterior definitely is important. I love a guy that looks good, mm -hmm. but the interior matters more like your character and you know, like who you are as a person. Yeah. Um, I love someone that's fun and energetic and social like me. Um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> now what are some of your deal breakers? My deal breakers. I don't do addiction. So if you're addicted to porn, only fans, gambling, I do none of that. Um, lying, um, someone who's judgmental. Mm. Um, yeah. Okay. All right, so we did get a pop. Let's go on over there, see why they ended up popping. All right, if we can have your name and age. I'm Brian, 38, from DC. Hey How you doing? I'm good, and yourself? Good, good. Um, All right, Brian, why did you end up popping your balloon? Well, she, physically, she's not my type. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, Physically, not my type. Okay, got that's it, got okay. It. Now, is uh, Brian someone that's your type? Um, I would say no. Okay. And why not? Um, I'm more into someone that just dresses a little bit more. I mean, I'm a, I want someone that dresses diverse, um, but just someone that for this occasion, I think you should come with your best impression. So, um, yeah, that's it. But you're you're a very good looking guy. I'm not gonna lie. Nice height. I like the size of the jeans. You look good. Appreciate you. No problem. Let's go. And that's interesting. For a program like this, you should come with your best foot forward, says the lady who's wearing a short shorts that's showing her cheeks. A jacket thingy that's showing the entirety of her back with a deep cut that I can almost guarantee is showing nips. But let's go. Let's go to our next pop balloon here. If we can have your name and age. I'm Johnny. I'm 58. Okay. And Johnny, why did you end up popping your balloon? I'm just into a more like taller girl. Okay. Why not? But you're gorgeous. Thank you. No problem. Thank you so much. <laughs> 
Now, is Johnny your type? Um, I... My brother, my brother, my brother. Never apologize for your opinions. Never apologize for your opinion. She's not my type. But then you have to throw a caveat in there to say she looks good and she is beautiful. You're not my type physically, full stop. I normally go for this type of girl, full stop. Everything else after that is an apology. I would say no. Okay. <laughs> Why not? Um, just the wardrobe, just looking at the exterior. I haven't heard anything from you yet, so, you know, I can't say too much. But just from looking on the outside, I just feel, again, you know, being that this is a dating show, mm -hmm. um, you know, you got to come with your best. Indeed. Says the girl once again, who says she wants a man who is not judgmental. Says the girl, who looks more like a escort. A high-priced escort. Come on, mama. Do better. I yeah. understand. Okay. Have a good night. You too. Thank you. And we did get one pop back here. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Yeah, my name is Micah. I'm 42. And uh, the reason... Hey, Mike. How you doing? <laughs> I'm good. And yourself? Doing good. Thanks. Okay. So the reason I popped was just the, the attraction wasn't there for me. Okay. Physical attraction wasn't there. Okay. Was there something specific? Uh, really nothing specific, just not the physical attraction wasn't there. Okay, okay. Yeah. Got okay. it, got it. Now, is Micah someone that's your type? Yeah, actually, Mike would be someone that's my type. Um, very nice looking. I love someone that's super well-groomed. The beard is looking on point. Hair is on point. Yeah, the aesthetics, I'm here for it. Okay. I appreciate that. Thank no you. No problem. Thank you. And You're then welcome. we did get one down here. Let's head on over here. All right, your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. I'm Danny, hey, 38. Danny. How What's are you? Up? What's your name again? Chohiko. Chohiko. Yes. Well, I'm big on, you know, having a type, you know, and she described her type pretty much to the T, and I didn't see myself in it. You know what I'm saying? So you got to do a dash about me. Wow. And if you ain't willing to do that because I ain't your type, then it's all good. Well, who told you you weren't my type? You did with your discretion. Okay. It's all good. All right. So now, is he your type? Yeah, he is somebody that would be my type. Okay. Yeah, very well dressed. You came with the collared shirt on. I love me some Chelsea boots. You came dressed for the occasion. You look good. Got a clean cut. Yes, my lady. And this is what this is what this looks like to me. This look like a stripper who won't date anybody less than a pastor. This young man is dressed for the occasion. However, you are dressed for the club. And you see, reflections and looking within is a challenge for a lot of people. Obviously, it's a challenge for her. I'm not really with the shades at night, you know, but I can see through them. So as long as I can see your eyes and you don't have hater blockers on, it's all good. So I actually would. Yeah, he's my type. Okay. Let's head on back. You should take that balloon back then. What's up? Uh-oh. I'm saying. <laughs> don't listen to that, man. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> All right, so we do have three balloons left unpopped. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and have you ask the remaining guys a question just to help you narrow it down, see who's more of your match. Okay, so I guess I would first ask you guys, um, where are you from and what do you do for a living? Okay, let's start here with your name and age and the answer to her question. Uh, my name is La, I'm 40. Um, What's I'm your name, I'm sorry? Excuse me? Your name? La. La? Okay. Yeah, La La. Nice to meet you. Um, pretty much I'm an entrepreneur, I'm an investor, uh, I'm into fitness at uh, a uh, university, Body State University, and also a restaurant, Supreme Empanada, in New York City. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, let's go to our next guy. Your name and age and the answer to her question. Uh, Hubert. My age is 37. Uh, I'm in software sales, and I have a podcast. Okay. Nice to meet you, Hubert. Likewise. Okay. And then we have one more down over here. All right, your name and age and the answer to her question. My name's Chad, I'm 38, and I own a mobile pet care business. 
Oh, how cute. Nice to meet you, Chad. <laughs> nice to meet you, too. All right. Okay. Okay, let's head on back. So it is time to pop a balloon. So I'm going to go ahead and hand you a pig. <laughs> there you go. Pop a balloon. Yeah, so out of these three guys, I'm going to go ahead and have you pop one of their balloons. I couldn't ask a question first. No, next round. <laughs> at least two people only. Oh my God. Okay. Mm, okay. Wow. Okay. Okay. Give me one second, please. Okay. Let me see here. Uh, okay. Uh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. Thanks. Wow. That's trouble. Oh, God. <laughs> and there you go. I am 100% with this gentleman. Pop that. I mean, don't ever be in a lineup for a woman to pick you and she is going all over the place. She either wants you or she doesn't. She has, I believe, decided who she wants, but she is within herself still trying to get the best deal out of the situation and possibly leave good enough impressions so the rest of the guys will at least show her some attention so she can get everything, every attention to be on her. So I agree with the gentleman. Pop that balloon, make her decide. Okay, look, well, he popped his. He popped, let's come let's on go. over here. <laughs> so why did we end up popping Hubert? Um, The hesitation, like I need my woman to be like, know what she want and make the decision. Also, um, there are a few things aesthetically that I don't like. Okay. Um, I'm not really big on like weave and if I can see a braid. Uh, and then like, the like the, I can see the bump in the back. Um, the braids, okay. Yeah. <laughs> and um, the tooth. Brother going in, brother going in. Let's go with the tooth, that shark tooth, that saber tooth, tiger tooth. Ha ha ha. Homeboy going in. The tooth? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. All right. Well, is Hubert someone that's your type? I know you had a little hesitation yeah, when. Yeah, no. I mean, he is someone that would be my type. I mean, I, just again, based on the exterior, because I haven't heard anything from him yet. Yeah. Um, the dress code, yes. Uh, the demeanor on the facials, it's just giving I don't want to be here. Um, but aside from that, um, yeah, he's somebody that I would probably, yeah. All right, thank you. Okay, I'll go ahead and have you ask the two guys a question that are left. Um, speaking of aesthetics, how are you guys when it comes to like your women and um, consistency? I know some guys don't like a woman that changes a lot. You know, they want her to stay in shape. If she gains weight, they lose interest because I think that reaction from the gentleman that popped last had such a huge impact on her that she is now asking a question that speaks to aesthetics. That shows how deeply that reaction um, caught into her, into her confidence and into her psyche. Personally, I'm someone that I, when it comes to my hair, I change it a lot. <laughs> I have no braids, to be honest. I actually have a shortcut under here, but my hair is down my back. Um, but I've done different type of things with my hair. I am always changing. So how comfortable are you with the consistency of like how your women changes her hair or, you know, her gaining weight, losing weight? Um, as far as your hair, that's your hair. That's, hair don't make you, so it don't matter to me. Okay. Um, gaining weight and stuff. I'm going to try to look good for you, so you got to always look good for me. You know, so I wouldn't want you to gain like 40, 30 pounds. I'm going to say, baby, let's go get in the gym. Let's go get it together. You know what I'm saying? But if you're reluctant, then I might be out of there. I ain't going to lie. Okay. All right. Let's go down over there. I'm going to go ahead and answer a question. Uh, that would be no problem for me. I think that... Uh... I just drew, drew a blank right now. Uh, <laughs> that, okay. that would be no problem for me. I'd actually would uh, appreciate you coming with different styles and looking a different way. As uh, far as the weight fluctuation, it didn't look like you would have too much of that going on. So. Thank you. <laughs> and the activities I love to do, uh, that would probably prevent you from even 
you know, gaining weight. I, I I don't know why you'd ask that. You look great, but um, well, I'm asking because you know I have. I mean, I don't, I don't mind because he was so wrong with the braids. I don't. I that you want to take it off? Don't do that. Don't yeah, you? I mean, don't 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 do that. Don't do that. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm I'm scared. I'm scared for you guys. I mean, look at Arlette. She's like. Don't, don't, mama, put it, put it back on. I mean, look at the, that guy in the glasses. He's like, holy shoot. Oh my God. Let's see if it makes her look better or worse. I mean, oh I mean you know, I mean, why can't I? So. But, like, she looks good she looks good without that mop on her head ladies 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 please 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 ditch those mops you wear do something with your natural hair she looks good i mean she looks good and as i mentioned guys from this angle this is the same woman here that's talking about presentation, presentation. And her butt cheeks are showing on the internet for everybody to see. And your hair acting as if you're looking for a husband. Do better, man. Do better. You still look good. She looks good. You still look good. So should I keep it off or? Okay. <laughs> there you go. All the guys agree. Keep that rubbish bin off your head. Come on, man. Ladies, ladies, ladies. This right here should be a wake up call for all of y'all. We like it like that. If it's natural. Or the closer to natural it is, the better it is, the more we appreciate it. But let's go. It's not as if y'all listen to me, some old YouTuber with 10 subscribers. Okay. Oh, earring just fell. Lost the earring. Um, well, I'm but yeah, that. so that's yeah, why I ask, because I'm always changing my hair. I go from short. I just was bald a few months ago. I have super long hair. I do all types of things. And typically I do natural, but you know, I came on the show today, so I was like, all right, let me try to yeah. do a little something. But this is, this is me. So I just want to make sure you're okay with me and who I am. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Let's head on back. Let's I, sorry, head I had on to do back. it. No, you look good. You look yeah, good. I did it for you. <laughs> you talking about I have braids. I'm like braids. What braids? <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. So our. T I hope we didn't miss that when she said, "I did it for you because you said I had braids." That's exactly what I'm saying. That man standing on business pulled out a better version of this young lady. Pulled out a better version of this young lady right here. But let's continue. Let's hear more balloons pop. Two remaining guys. Any questions for our beautiful lady here? You got kids. Oh, hold on. Here we go. You got a question over here? Let's go over here. Yeah. You have kids? I do. I was married for 11 years, so I had three wonderful children. Um, I have a cordial relationship with my ex-husband. We do 50-50, so whoever my partner is, he honestly doesn't. The, a week, my kids are gone. <laughs> a week, they come back with me. So um, they have a very active father, so that wouldn't be a concern, if that is a concern, because that tends to be a concern at times. <laughs> you want more kids? I'm open to more kids, yeah. Yeah, I snap back. Okay. I mean, we end up popping. I, I, I don't want no more kids. I don't. I, I'm open. My brother, I think you were trying to get an excuse to pop that balloon. To be honest, she said she's open to more kids. The answer I'm expecting from you is the answer I'm expecting for the reason why you pop that balloon is that you want more kids. And you don't want her to be open for more kids. You want her to want more kids. Now, it seems to me that you are saying you don't want more kids. 
because she didn't specifically say that she wanted more, she's open, which means that if her husband or her long-term partner decides that they want more kids, she will give him kids. But you don't want more kids and you're concerned about her being open. You just wanted a reason to pop that pop. Open to it. Open to I'm it. I'm open to it. I'm but not. to be honest, I do have three. But that would be a decision that we would have to make. You don't want no more, neither do I. I didn't say I want. It's, mm. not, a, it's not a need for me. I already have three. But for example, I'm open to it if the, my partner wants it. Oh. Uh, okay. I'm not open, though. <laughs> and that's fine and that's what and i'm telling I got you two kids yeah that's you know cool that's cool with Just me them kids after that <laughs> yeah no, no i don't know about f the kids but i'm totally open if i don't need to have any more understandable but i'm open to it if my partner is but i, I respect it right. okay any questions down over here let's head on over here any questions where do you live i live in florida fort lauderdale to be exact where do you live? Vegas. Oh, okay, so you wouldn't be willing to do long distance temporarily? Too far. Well, I mean, because, listen, I'm I'll, grounded. I'll move for I'm love. At. I'm just saying, I'll move for love. I, the dating pool, there's fecal matter in it right now. <laughs> so I can't be so picky anymore. I used to be super picky. That is the stage where a lot of women need to get to before they can understand what the red pill people have been saying for all these years. Beautiful young woman. Well, maybe not so young. Beautiful woman. And she understands that she cannot be too picky. Once again, this gentleman may not have been her first choice of the picking that are on offer here, but she knows she cannot be too picky. She has to leave this program with a man at her side. But let's go. Picky, uh, he can't be you bald, he can't be this. I'm, I'm, yeah, I've had long distance Give me the balloon relationship. Back. Okay, let's get that balloon <laughs> back. <laughs> and I'm serious. I'm looking at you. You looking at me? Give him that balloon back so he can pop it. Another time. You see me? I'm looking at okay. you. Yeah. <laughs> and I got three kids as well. Well, yeah. the Brady Bunch, huh? Yeah. <laughs> and I'm okay with that. I don't have an issue with that. I prefer men with kids. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Let me walk you on up. Come on up here. Let's head. Uh, you could if you head. want. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that, that was, was an accident. accident. We know that was an accident. He tried to catch it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I have a. That reflex is saying no. The reflex is still saying no. That's why it got popped. That's, I mean, honestly, if these two make it to a reunion show or whatever, it'd be interesting to see how they, how they go. It'll be interesting. Um, homegirl decided she wanted a man and she wasn't leaving without a man. Didn't like her presentation, don't like her presentation for how she's judging the men. But let's see. A final question if there's no other questions between the two of you. What's the question? All right, no so question. then is it a yes for you for her? It's a yes. Uh, is it a yes for you for him? It's a yes. We got a match! <laughs> I'll take this Aww. mic and you guys can go on up. Oh, give it up for them, y'all. <laughs> well, well, so there we go. We got a match. Well, let's see how this one goes as we move on. Have the next episode of Pop That Balloon or Find Some Lube. Let's go, let's go, let's go.